Welcome friends to the second lecture of Unit Fuel. I am Mr. Abhijit Guru. In this lecture, we are going to learn analysis of fuels, in which main aspect that is proximate analysis. So determination of percentage moisture, percentage ash, percentage volatile matter, percentage fixed carbon, and at the last significance of proximate analysis. So let us see one by one. That is determination of percentage moisture in given coal sample. So what we need for this practical is coal sample, which is under examination. Then a silica crucible, weighing machine, then desiccator, muffle furnace. These are the apparatus we need for this practical. So let us do practical. You have to wait. First, empty crucible on a weighing machine that is taken as a W1 gram. Then you have to take coal sample into that crucible, and then again its weight is taken as W2 gram. Then, along with that coal sample, that crucible is kept in a muffle furnace and it is heated at about 100 to 110 degree Celsius temperature for one hour. Then, after one hour, you have to take out this crucible along with the coal sample, and it is cooled in a desiccator. This desiccator is used particularly because if you keep crucible open, then it absorbs the moisture present in the environment. That's why this lid with this desiccator it prevents the absorption of moisture from the environment. So it can be placed. This crucible can be placed into the desiccator, and after cooling at room temperature, the weight of this uh, crucible with coal sample is taken. That is W3 gram. So according to this, we have to calculate. The percentage moisture as W3 minus W2 divided by W2 minus W1 multiplied by 100. So, what is the W3 minus W2? It is the loss in weight, or you can say whatever the moisture is lost, that weight is taken here, and W2 minus W2, W1 is nothing but the weight of coal sample taken. So, this is the formula that is loss in weight. Multiplied by 100 divided by weight of coal sample taken. So this is all about the determination of percentage moisture. So same practical that can be performed with the percentage ash, but just you have to keep in a consideration that the temperature is taken as a 700 to 750 degree Celsius temperature. So again for this practical you have to take dry coal sample. Then again, silica crucible, weighing machine, desiccator, and muffle furnace is there. So this can be done again practically. That is, weight of uh, empty crucible is taken as W1 gram. Then W2 gram is uh, weight of crucible along with the coal sample. Same procedure you are going to follow. Then third point, again that is kept into the muffle furnace, but a very important aspect that is the temperature. So temperature must be kept at 700 to 750 degree Celsius temperature for one hour, because at this temperature, whatever the coal is there, that coal get burned and it is converted into the ash. So this crucible is taken out from the muffle furnace and again it it is kept into the desiccator and cooled at room temperature. Then again its weight is taken as a W3 gram. So here formation of ash takes place. So in calculation we are using W3 minus W1 divided by W2 minus W1 that is multiplied by 100. So this W3 minus W1 is nothing but the W3 is nothing but the weight of crucible along with ash, and W1 is nothing but the it is empty crucible. That's why here. At this upper side, you are having weight of ash divided by weight of coal sample. 
so this is the formula that is weight of ash multiplied by 100 divided by weight of coal sample taken in this way percentage ash can be determined practically so determination of volatile matter so volatile matter is again all the processes or all the steps that can be taken as uh, previously that we have taken in a percent determination of percentage moisture and determination of percentage ash just you have to keep the temperature here at 900 degree celsius and that is for one hour this is the only difference and again you are going to calculate the percentage volatile batter like loss in weight multiplied by 100 divided by weight of coal sample taken and at the last that is determination of percentage fixed carbon so this fixed carbon is nothing but the the carbon which provides actual heat or which provides the calorific value to the fuel it is a fixed carbon so the formula is very simple here the percentage fixed carbon is equal to 100 minus percentage ash plus percentage moisture plus percentage volatile matter that is vm so in this way you have calculated all these proximate analysis parameters so what is this it is actually the significance of proximate analysis that is moisture first one is moisture moisture lowers the calorific value that's why it takes more time to burn fuel also therefore less the percentage of moisture better is the quality of coal second one that is ash ash is actually a non-reducible byproduct which again cannot be burned or that does not have any calorific value that's why lower the amount of ash better is the quality of coal then volatile matter this volatile matter is nothing but the the compounds or the gases which elongates the flame size therefore the calorific value or heat value of that particular fuel is decreases therefore less the volatile matter percentage better is the quality of coal and at the last that is fixed carbon it is actually gives the calorific value as i have already told you that therefore more the percentage of fixed carbon better is the quality of coal so these are the significance points of the proximate analysis so this is the question for you explain proximate analysis of coal in details so you have to mention the process of percentage moisture determination of percentage ash like this and all other aspects and also this is the second question that is significance of proximate analysis so what you have learned in this unit is analysis of fuels that is analysis of coal in which proximate analysis there is a percentage moisture percentage ash percentage volatile matter percentage fixed carbon and at the last that is significance of proximate analysis so thank you save fuels and save energy